I'm a terrible person. No, you're not. But you have to say that because you're my friend. You did the right thing, in a way. I mean, you knew if you stayed in that place, you'd always be tempted. Yeah, but it's not just that guy. It's guys on the street, at my gigs, at the ATM just now. Being tempted isn't the same thing as following through with it. Yeah, but I can't stop thinking about it. I keep thinking, what would life be like with someone else? Sounds like you have FOMO. What'd you call me? FOMO. <laughs> Fear of missing out. Oh, oh. Yeah, which makes sense. You know, he's your first real relationship. It's not like you've been with a lot of dudes. Yeah, but I never even cared about that. All I wanted was to be with him. He does this thing we saw in a documentary about penguins. Touch foreheads, how they kiss. That's nauseating. I don't know. I just gotta focus on what's real, me and him. You know, once we're living together and we're with each other every day, it's gonna be different. Well, listen, I can't tell you if you should stay with Kevin, but I can tell you that never in the history of the world has moving in together made things easier. Believe me, it only gets harder. You know, if you love the person, then it's worth it, but it will test you more than you ever thought possible. I'm such an ass going on about this. I mean, you got real problems. No, I didn't come out tonight to talk about my problems. Yours are a welcome distraction. I just don't know if it's normal or if it means something more, like maybe we're not meant to be together. You gotta figure out what you want when what you actually want, not what you think you should. 